Hey everyone, it's Friday the 24th of February and the time is currently 6.45 in the evening. Right, today's video. I am hoping that we can get at least two of these um, little 060 locomotives up and running. Um, I bought them as spares or repairs on eBay and they arrived today actually. And so much is currently chasing some paper around, I think. That came in one of the boxes. Anyway, we have a J72 from Mainline. I've got this one in black as well. I've actually got that over here just to show you. BR black one. This one is actually a, um, a runner. I've already seen an issue with this one, which is um, probably going to mean I'm not going to get it running in this video. These are two GWR, Great Western Railway, pannier tanks. I can't remember the class off the top of my head. This one's going to need more work than the other one. So I doubt I'll get this one running in the video either. Like I said, I was hoping for two, but when I hit um, record on the camera, I didn't notice an issue with the conrods on this one. Um, this one is actually missing conrods. And there's no motor either. <laughs> but it does have pickups on the base, which is um, a bonus. So it's got potential there. I could potentially build it into a working one. This one, however, is also missing the motor. I only found out because the body's already loose. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how this goes on at the front. I don't know if there's... Oh, I see. Ah, so there's a screw that goes through the side here and into this um, block. Right. We'll put this on. I'll give the wheels a clean. But because of the conrods, I don't think this is going to do anything. It's trying. That motor sounds dreadful. You see these conrods are not sitting straight now. Because the wheels are moving on the axle and I've had this problem before. In fact, my uh, British Railways one here had that problem. And I actually ended up buying another one of these and uh, making a good one from the two. <laughs> so... Let's give the wheels a clean. There's no doubt that is going to be an issue. So we'll put in our little cradle there. Let's fill the cap up. A little drop of IPA. And grab a cotton bud. And just see if these wheels are filthy. There's a little bit of muck coming off of them, but they aren't actually that bad. But, uh, I've got a feeling, you know, because you can see the wheel, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you know, it's not meant to do that. These conrods are not meant to twist out of place because these are meant to be on a solid axle. So if I hold that wheel, I can rotate them independently and you're not supposed to do that. I could try taking them off and putting a dab of super glue on, but I don't know how long that would last, or even if it would work. And I think, just like on the uh, British Railways one, it's this front axle that has broke. Exactly what it did. On mine. I have got some super glue, so I can try some super glue just to see if it'll hold it. I should have bought me oil through because I think that motor needs it from the sounds of it. This is just completely. Oh, 
Oh no, it seems like it is actually both axles that have done it. It's got to go around there. I'll just line the wheels up again. Yeah, you see, look at what that does as soon as I put power to it. That's going to be an issue. Um, it's not going to be difficult to actually take the wheels off of this. It's just three screws in the bottom here. That comes off and then the wheels should just drop out. So, I might do that. I may have to pause and just go and get the uh, super glue. There's one screw. It's got two choices. It either works or it doesn't. So, if it doesn't, then I'll have to find a new set of wheels or something for it. Right, I've got, oh, that coupler needs repairing. I'm not sure if it was already broken or if I just did that. Right. So, what I need to do is literally leave the wheels like that and hopefully just drip some super glue in there. And hope it holds right. So I'm just going to pause you for a minute while I go and get some. Right, got some super glue. Let me try this. Like I said, it'll either work or it won't. That and that has all got to be like that. So. Leave that up there like that, just let that dry. You see, once power's put to it, it might just uh, shut up. You had a bit of an accident with the super glue. That's going to be fun to peel off later, isn't it? Right, while that is actually setting, we'll see if we can get a motor fitted to this. So We'll put it on the track. I'm just going to turn the power off. So I need to take this off. It's not needed. Well, I've got to take the screw out anyway. And, uh, it's this bit that I don't need because the motor's already got one. So, I don't know. Maybe the seller already... Um, or maybe the seller just took the motor out for something else. Right, so that needs to... I think it's lined up. But to find out, if the screw doesn't go in, it's not lined up. Okay, so it's not lined up, it's not... There we go. It's lined up now. What I did there was, because the motor had to go forwards, while well, I put a little bit of force on there, I just rolled the wheels around, and then in turn the gear just sort of pulled the motor into place. Right. Problem is these screws are brass, so uh, they ain't magnetic. I think I might have got it. Really easy to put motors in once you've got the screw started at least. And with these particular types of motor you just have the one wire which is this one which I should be 
able to push straight into this side and turn it around for that action. Yeah, so basically this brush is insulated from the rest of the chassis. So this wire, along with a uh, suppressor cap on there, from back in the days when these motors interfered with the such things. Uh, you know, I knew one of these brushes was going to do that. So, I'm actually bloody sure that's going on around the wrong way. Let's just take the insulator off as well. I'll hold that in place if I can. And I'll just try and get this wire in place. I did wonder if this would have been easier um, before installing the motor, but I don't think it would have, would have been, to be honest. Let's just move that out of the way as well. Right. So helped. These are so bloody fiddly. No, I've just dropped the brush all the way through. In fact, I've just broken the brush. That ain't good. I hate these bloody wires. Never mind, over here I should have somewhere that is one but that's not the one I was looking for I should have Hang on. shut up oh no I don't know where the other spare brush is una momento right <laughs> the brush I want is actually too long it's the wrong type um, so, I'm just fighting with another one. And I think I may have one. I want one brush in. It doesn't match this one properly, but uh, let's hope uh, it'll work. If I can stop this poxy wire from coming out of here. Alright, get my uh, little clampy bit here in place. Try and hold that while getting this one in place. We can only go up from the bottom as well. Piece of poo, get in there. I hate doing brushes. I really do. Uh, well, if I can't get it to work with these brushes. That is, I'll have to uh, see if I can buy some. I thought I had some spare, but I was looking at my pot earlier and it appears not. I'm going to do it this way. That's it. Just knocks me IPA everywhere. Ah. I've got that in. And the bloody wire has come off again. Well, that's got to be there. Right. Well, technically the brushes are uh, in. What I need to do... 
try and get this wire in now. Like that. So, will it do anything? It tried. Ooh. Right. Let's just uh, try and tuck this in out of the way. I'm not going to put the body on yet. What I will do is uh, put those wheels in there. Just get the other ones uh, glued up. Like so. I'm just hoping the super glue will just run into place on that one. Got a, got a screwdriver and I haven't got cloth or anything at hand to uh, mop that up with. I haven't even got an old shirt at hand either. Right, so. Waste not, one not. Let's give these wheels a nice clean. Some dirt coming off of them. I can't believe I just did that. At least with the body off, I can actually get to the whole wheel nice and easy. Good bit of dirt coming off these wheels. Don't know if I'll worry about a screw for the body at the minute. I just want to see if I can get at least one in working condition. Maybe two. Mm. Yeah, that one's bad. Do it the easy way. Let's just um, refill the lid. So I can actually dump the Q-tip. Surprised more dirt hasn't come off these wheels actually. Because with no motor in it, I bet it's not been uh, ran for some time. Right, what do you guys think? You think it's got to run better now? What do you think we can get the uh, body back on? I suppose technically I've got a choice of bodies there because they're both exactly the same. Right. Let's put it back on the track. Will it work? For some reason... I think that needs a new pair of brushes in it, to be honest. I think that's the main issue here. Although, now I've got it... Maybe it just needed a bit of a wrap on that. It keeps tripping the button out on my controller. So it's pulling a bit too, too much... Uh, Current, but technically it is running. But I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to go on eBay <laughs> and uh, see if I can find a pair of, I can't remember if these are XO3 or XO4 motors now, but now if I just get that to sit somewhere there, I think that should be alright. 
means that. I've just got to hook in the back there, and then because of that wire, it's making that bounce, so I will find a screw at some point to put in there. up and running. So I do need to find a matching pair of brushes because I think the odd ones are just going to bug me otherwise. Um, I can't believe I actually just snapped it clean off that. I don't even know where it went. So we've got success there. That is actually, I've got it up and running. Now Let's see what this one's going to do, shall we? We should just drop straight in. Make sure the um, con rods are fine. Let's drop that screw out, out of the way for the minute, so I'm going to put this on. For some reason this has got two flathead screws in it, um, not two flathead screws, two Phillips screws and a flathead one in the middle. So I don't know if some of these screws have been replaced or not. I would have thought they would have all been the same. Maybe someone's been in here to try and fix it and uh, Lost a screw. I personally don't think this is going to work. I'm going to be surprised if it does. Humming, it's making a lot of noise. That's about all it's doing. And I can see why. These uh, comrades are still in the wrong position, they're at the same height and they're not meant to be. Should have checked that. Fun fact, if you leave IPA on your, a painted desk like that, it actually takes the paint off. <laughs> yeah, I think this one is just going to be too much of a pain at the minute. old set of wheels from this one but unfortunately I've got the same problem so there's no point putting them on this super glued these buggers in here. Is that part of what the problem was? These ones won't come out either now. Ooh. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs>
Yeah, I just I very easily just broke that super glue bond, so it wasn't gonna work. Uh, never mind. Now, if I had more brushes, because I have got two more of these uh, motors here, but I've got no brushes for them. If I did have. I could have got this one working, but as you can see, it's missing comrades and it's missing um, its motor. I have got this here, which has got a set of comrades on it. And in fact, I'm pretty certain that they are the same chassis. Do you believe? Maybe? I think that comrade would fit. It should just be, yeah, it's just a self-tapper in that middle wheel. That's all it is. A little self or a little screw in there. Well, unfortunately, I only got one to work. <laughs> so I need to find a screw for the side of that. The one that I uh, get that poured back in there and put it on the floor out of the way. Ow, super glue in a cut. Yeah, I need those that one. Oh, good. I don't want to know what smudge is doing. <laughs> I'm really pleased that this one is actually uh, working. It seems like the more I run it, the better it's uh, getting. off the track because it hit the PC case. Sweet though. We've got a pannier tank out of it. Yeah, I might just uh, go over those wheels again. So, I'm going to have a look for some brushes. There must be some like, new old stock or something lurking about somewhere. Hello, fluff butt. Right. Ideally, I'd want to keep as much of this together as possible. I do like the body on that. I like the uh, big gold, uh, whatever that is. I do like that. Right. That will be it for this video then. But all I can do. I was hoping I could do more, actually. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And uh, I will leave, as always, links to uh, my other two channels, my gaming channel and the LEGO channel, and the Discord server in the description down below. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.